boys, it's that time we need to do another modification on the R8. Right, the car, which is filthy, you can tell that, needs a change of color. Um, I think it's very nice in this color. I think it's very classy in this color, but we're gonna need to change that. Uh, I'm gonna explain why. I'm gonna sort of talk you through my ideas and everything like that, but let's hop in the car and then we can get started. Audi R8 V10 Plus, time for the next modification. We're in the car now and now then, the exhaust was the first big change I made to this car and I do still need to kind of get somewhat used to it because it has changed. The way that you drive this car and it makes you want to drive it faster. So it makes it drink more fuel, makes you want to drive it more aggressively. All these things combined, overall not the best really for the consumption, but today we're in London, we're in central London, we're gonna be driving this car, we're not really going out, because as mentioned in the intro, we're going to be chatting about the color and the future color options of this car. So, the whole reason I bought this, you can probably remember, was because of a challenge I put on my YouTube channel. And this is really a car that I want to make the most of for videos and for you guys and get you guys as involved as possible in the process of developing this car and what the final product will look like. And just kind of classic YouTube, we're gonna do, you know, exhaust, wrap, wheels, but not just for the sake of making those videos. I actually want to get you involved. You were involved in the car that I ended up picking, the car that I ended up buying, this car. You were involved in voting whether I put an exhaust on it or not. And now I want you to be involved in helping design the wrap of the car. Now, one of the reasons I want to get a wrap on in not too long is because I'm planning on potentially doing a drive all around France and some of Europe with this. So if you don't know, I also have a French YouTube channel and a French community that follow the videos. And because this car's been in the UK this entire time, I figured why not bring it to France and kind of do a tour around there. Now we're looking at doing that potentially, and again, as nothing is confirmed, around March time. So ideally I'd like a wrap to be on the car by then. Now then, do I want it to represent you guys? Do I want it to represent the tour? Potentially. I mean, if you are good at making renders or you have any cool ideas, please, you know, comment below, send them to an email address that I'm gonna put in the description or perhaps send them to me on Instagram or anywhere like that because I really want you guys to, to help bring this design to life. Now, Audi R8, as you guys know, is a supercar v10 mid-engine this one 550 horsepower four-wheel drive it's a proper supercar so it deserves to kind of look like one as well now this car is very classy in terms of the color color option but i think you could go with something a little bit more aggressive that could make it pop a bit more which is why whatever happens i kind of want it to be fairly bright and stand out-ish. I want the car to be recognizable so that if we are doing tours, you can instantly, you know, recognize the car and know that it's this one, as well as the license plate being on it, obviously. So, a few options. One, just a base color. So I'm gonna overlay a few options uh, as we go, but a base color could potentially work. So, you know, we could do, I don't know, green, something like that, a green R8 or blue. Now, I actually really like them when they're completely blacked out, these cars. I think they look really, really cool, but I'm not sure that will pop quite enough. Uh, let me know what you guys think, but that could be an option, doing a fully blacked out R8. It could be kind of cool. Now, that's kind of base color, but I don't really want to do a base color. I want to do something a little more exciting that, than that, potentially. So, the R8, ran at the mop there was a uh, what they call the lms r8 really really cool looking car and there were loads of different designs that went on the lamont car and i found one which is sort of matte gray and red which i think is really really cool so i'm considering that as well let me know what you guys think because i thought that looked great i saw a photo of it and i just think it looks amazing and potentially it's something we can do you know not to in a difficult way because uh, all you need to do is put a satin PPF I guess on the grey 
and then do the red details so that's a fairly easy one to do and I think it looks pretty cool and also just while we're talking about PPF another reason I want to do a wrap is because if we're going to be driving this car a lot it does protect the paint so there's the practical side to it as well so that was one look I was considering going down the route of it's kind of the, the racing look now one of the slight turn-offs to that is I kind of did that with the Alpine I don't know if you remember I know it wasn't a race car but it was a rally car I did that full rally spec with the numbers on the side and everything so I felt like I kind of done that but it's so sick I wouldn't mind necessarily doing it again so those two options base color of your choice or race car kind of look another slight worry i have with the race car look is i don't want to do anything to the bodywork that is irreversible because this car is quite rare you know i don't want to put massive wing on it or you know all of these things that then i wouldn't be able to change so yeah i'm not sure if it wouldn't look beefy enough with that wrap on the body kit maybe wouldn't quite complement the wrap so those are, those are my slight worries. That being said, I think it would be pretty epic because you know we could really make it look cool, do the light, and it would, it would stand out and not be like you know kind of every other Raptor, right? So third option, third option is something sort of really wacky. Um, would be to do something like a camo or multicolored, um, you know, one of those chameleon wraps or something like that. I found this. Uh, I got sent this. Um, really really cool wrap which is kind of like a rose goldy camo with gold wheels I thought it looked super super cool I don't want to just completely copy whoever that was that that did that wrap so we need to do something different maybe we can change the colors around or something but I thought that was pretty epic so that would you know something like that so not a base color not a race wrap but something along those lines now the worry with that is has camo been done too much and you know, do I really want a camo, camo car? So that's kind of where my mind's at there, but I do think it looks epic. You guys let me know what you think of that. I mean, we could play on that idea, you know, and it doesn't need to be camo necessarily. It could kind of be anything. So that's option three. And option four kind of goes hand in hand with option uh, two and three. So basically I'm considering doing like a, an old worn look you know when you buy jeans and they're ripped the ones i've got now there seems to be like these kind of wraps so they basically just do that as well i've got a truck in front of me this is gonna be an interesting situation well that was complicated the visibility of this car for a supercar is absolutely nuts so i was saying you can buy jeans that have a worn look i've seen a few wraps one on a gt3 rs where you have that kind of worn race car look and I think it looks awesome. So I'm considering doing something like that. Now that could go either with the camo. So on the camo photo that you guys saw with the gold, it is slightly worn already and I think that looks really cool. But maybe we could add that to the Le Mans wrap and I think that could be really cool. So if we added like a worn look Le Mans livery type thing, that could be really epic. Now let me know if you think I'm just, you know, overthinking this way too much or whether they're just shit ideas and you have any others. And we can go from there. I just wanted to do a quick video where we literally just drive around, talk about that. We really appreciate any help in designing it, any input you want to have. I'm going to be reading all the comments to see what you guys would rather have on the car. And then hopefully I'm away now for a couple of weeks, but hopefully when I come back at the end of this month, we'll be able to bring the car, I think, to Dub Customs who are going to uh, put the map on. And then, yeah, well, that will be the second sort of big, big modification. Now, depending on what wrap we end up going for, I'm also going to change the wheels. So, you know, we might, I might do all of that in one go because it may be weird, you know, if we get like a gold wrap and we got silver wheels. So depending on when, when we decide to do the wrap, I may get wheels changed as well. So you can take that into account. So if you're designing something, you can put the wheels in whatever color you want. If you want red, white, black wheels, feel free. Anyways, that's pretty much it from me. I mean, just a little drive around town to talk about that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're as excited as I am to see the final product with this car. I mean, there's a lot of things I still want to do. As you know, I made a video about it. We're going to change a few things on the interior as well. But um, yeah, so far I haven't been in London a lot at all. 
in the last month and a half or so, so it's been tricky to kind of move forward on this project. But hope you guys are well, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you again for another one very, very soon. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Cheers, guys, bye-bye.